M0FXB, welcome to my channel, Yesu FT450. Now, I do recommend this website, SM7IUN, because it's got all these links for different software and firmware. I just used it for my firmware, and they do link back to Yesu. So, firmware update here, but one of them is this PCC450D control software. So, when you download that, you, you can run it and you'll get this window here. Then get yourself a, a cable like this from, I'll put a link in from Technofix, which is basically USB-C to serial, and it does need to be the proper one. So if we go to Device Manager, look at my port, it's uh, this one here, that USB serial port COM5 that we've got there. And you plug it into the CAT connection at the back and then it goes into your PC. Once you've got that, you run it, then go to the software. Now the radio, just quick one on the radio, you do need to set the cat. So hold down your F and then you've got the cat rate on mine is set at 38400. So just go to cat rate there, push the select button and look, you can push it and you can change your cat rate. Okay, three, eight, and that's all I did. Everything else was left as default. So back out. Once you've done that, then on the one, you double click the software, which looks like this. Let me just close this down, then I'll start again. Double click. You, if it doesn't connect straight away, like I see if mine has connected a minute. Yeah, mine has connected. If it doesn't connect straight away, go to setup. Com select, look, COM5, so right click, remember, device manager, there's COM5 here, so you know that's good, and then click OK, and then set up again, board rate, look, 38400, and that's it, and then you can go up and down with the bands, you can even turn the radio off and on, there it goes. The band. I am noticing, although I can change the frequency on this on the radio, if you can see I'm scrolling and I can change the frequency, it's not actually changing on this software. It's changing on the radio. So I'm not sure what I'm doing wrong there. But anyway, band up and down, we can tune, click tune here, tune it on off and tune. Working great. We can change the power. Home. Box. You know, just everything. A lot of things are working. Look at all that. What's that? Menu list. SWR meter. The filter one's good. Look, DNR. You can turn it on and off there. And here. Shift. Yeah, that worked. So, it's, yeah, it's a bit of fun. I don't know if I'll use it very often, but it's nice to know I can do this. It's something free, it's free software, and the cable's worth having for firmware update anyway. Has it got a, v a VFO memory? What is that? Yeah, it has looked, so we go. VFO memory here. I don't know if you've got any memories in, but Please enter storage and you can save. It looks like you can save memories as well. The DSP has gone red. So does that mean it's in use? Kia here, clarifier. You get the idea. So check it out, links in the description. Thanks to SM7RUN for this face, for this, you know, website. Link for the cable, ETC, and the software. Bye for now, 7-3, all the best.